Hi, this is the very first video on partnership and profit sharing. Partnership is when more than one people get together and do a business, right? And when they do a business, they earn a profit. And then there arises a question of how to share that profit, right? So, profit sharing is usually done in the ratio of their investments. So, in that case, the profit earned by a person will be directly proportional to his investments, right? That means the profit earned by a person will be equal to some k times investments, right? And what will be the value of this k? The value of this k will actually depend on the profit earned by the company or profit earned by the business, right? But the profit earned by an individual will depend on his or her investments in the business, right? Now, what is this investment? Yes, investment is the amount of money. So, investment is directly proportional to the money a person has invested in a business. Person who has invested more money should get more share in the profit. And the person who has invested less amount of money should get less percentage or share in profit, right? It should be investment, I N, right? And this investment also depends on the time. And how it depends on time? It is actually directly proportional to the time. See, let's take one example. There is a person A who invests an amount of 1000 for one year, right? And then there is a person B who also invests an amount of 1000, but he invests only for six months. I want to take your view on this, whether both of them should be given the same share in profit. Yes or no? No, because A has invested this amount for one year, whereas B has invested the same amount, but he was invested only for six months. That is half the time for which the A has invested. So definitely A is supposed to get more share in the profit, right? And that is why I am saying investment is actually directly proportional to time also. So from here, investment will be equal to money multiplied by time. This is how we calculate the investment done by a person, right? From here, if a person has invested more money, his investment value will increase. And if he has invested for more time, then also his investment value will increase. So if I multiply money by time and call this investment, I think we will get the correct result for profit share, right? And the unit you can call it as currency time or currency months. Currency months or currency years. So from here we can say that profits are actually equal to some k times money multiplied by time, right? So profit will be actually equal to some k times money multiplied by time. And this time can be either in years, months or days or whatever unit you are using to calculate the time for which the money is invested, right? So from here we have got a relation. Relation is profit is actually equal to some k times money and the value of this constant which is k over here is completely dependent on the profit earned by the business, right? So these are the concepts and now as you can see I have also noted down a problem. We will solve this problem to understand these concepts better, right? So I am erasing everything. So now what we have, we have a problem statement and we have our findings from our earlier discussion. Findings were the profit is equal to k multiplied by money multiplied by time. This says the profit is actually k times the product of money and time. Right? A person who has invested more money is supposed to get more profit and the person who has kept invested for more time, he is also supposed to get more profit. Right? So, now let's read the statement and we will try to solve it. 
So the problem statement says, Raj set up a factory with a capital of 9,000 and Ram joined him with an investment of 50,000. The total profit earned at the end of the year was 68,000. Find when Ram joined as partner. So we have to find at which point of time Ram is joining the business with a capital of 50,000, right? How to find it? Yes, they have given the share of Raj in profit. The next part of the statement says if Raj's share in profit is 48,000, right? So if Raj earns a profit of 48,000, what will be the profit earned by Ram? The profit earned by Ram will be Total profit was 68,000, right? Raj share is 48,000. So the profit earned by Ram will be 20,000, right? And the profit is K times the money invested and the time or the duration for which the money is invested. So if I talk about Raj, Raj has got a profit of 48,000 and this will be equal to k times money. Money he has invested was 90,000, right? And he was invested for the whole year, right? But this Raj is joining in between. So I'm converting this duration of one year into months because Ram is joining in between and his unit of time will be in months, right? So I'm converting that one year into months. So it will be 12 months. So 48,000 he is earning on 90,000 of his investment for one year, right? And if I talk about Ram, Ram is earning a profit of 20,000. And this profit will be equal to K times his investments in terms of money, which is 50,000. And the time for which he was invested. So that if I assume as T, it will be multiplied by T, right? And now if I call this as equation number one, and this as equation number two, and I divide the equation number one by equation number two, I'll get 48,000 divided by 20,000 is equal to K multiplied by 90,000, multiplied by 12, divided by K, multiplied by 50,000, multiplied by T, right? And now if I solve it, these three zeros will cancel these three zeros of 20,000 and these four zeros of 50,000 will cancel these four zeros of 9,000 and this K will cancel this K, right? So when we are talking about the ratio, the value of constant doesn't matter. Right, and from here we will get t as 20 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 12 divided by 48 multiplied by 5. Right, so 12 ones are 12, 12 fours are 48, 4 ones are 4, 4 fives are 20, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5, and this is equal to 9. So the time for which Brown was invested in the business was 9 months right so ram was invested for the nine months in the business that means he has actually joined 12 minus 9 three months later right three months later raj has started his factory or his business right so this was the solution for the problem and I think this problem has helped you in consolidating your concepts about partnerships and profit share. And after this we have one more problem that is slightly complicated problem there we have three people doing the business and some of them are taking out a part of their investments in between the year and some of them are actually increasing their investments in the business in the middle of the year. That is Slightly complicated problem, but I think that will help you in understanding the concept better. So, bye-bye till then.